Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face. You who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, of the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul. Love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heavens splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, Loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are a light of our pathways. And you are the light and life of all creation.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Well, here we are at our last pandemic Lenten service, which I hope it really is our last one. <clears throat> but tonight, uh, I'm going to wrap up this uh, theme of being in exile or into the exile uh, with actually the opposite, coming out of exile. And uh, I'm going to use Isaiah chapter 55 uh, as uh, a way of showing another people who came out of exile from the Babylonian captivity when when those who were taken to Babylon, the Jews who were taken to Babylon, came back uh, to Israel and to Jerusalem. And they really weren't quite sure what the, was going to happen, how they were going to do it, and how things looked when they got there. But chapter 55 is a very hopeful chapter, and I want to read it to you uh, and listen to it as a way as uh, for us, as we are all coming uh, out of exile. Isaiah 55. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. As we uh, hopefully start getting out of this uh, and returning to some sense of normal, we can't, we can't forget uh, what we've been going through this last year, but we can certainly remember. And as we do come back together, as we come out of this exile, Let us remember uh, what some of our friends and neighbors and families lost. Let us remember some of the exhaustion, the anxiety, the separation. And let's be kind to each other as we come out of this. I know we all, we all are just itching to do all those things that we just take for granted but let's be kind to each other 
Let's come out of this. Let us ask the Lord for pardon and for forgiveness. Let us ask the Lord for mercy and grace so that we can continue to share the love of Jesus Christ to all those whom we come in contact with. I'm really looking forward to coming out of exile. And I know you are too. And the Lord has many, many, many blessings and joys coming our way. And as we come together in person, as a community, again, I invite all of you who feel uh, safe uh, and ready to, to follow all the protocols. We still have to, at least right now. Please come. Sunday mornings will be starting this Sunday, Palm Sunday. And as we continue to get closer uh, and enjoy each other again, uh, we can uh, uh, have fun, we can have joy, we can laugh, um, but let's also, let's also be careful and be kind. As we come out of exile, let us remember and recognize that we continue to be God's disciples on this earth and that God has given us so much. And yes, we have our struggles, our hardships, but God is still there and we are still there as a congregation, as a community together in the name of Jesus Christ, let's be that support. And let us see a wonderful and bright future together, post-exile. Amen. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am a servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. Have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of all. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. See
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide 